Update on that car crash last night near Emporia. Three teenagers were killed when their car went off a Lyon County road and into the Cottonwood River, and one passenger survived. 13th Warren of Florida spoke with on the only survivor in a story you'll see only here on 13 News. It was just right here in this area, right behind me, about five miles out of Emporia, where four teenagers were just having fun like any other Saturday night. But it quickly ended in tragedy when they drove off the road, went through a line of trees, and ended up at the bottom of the Cottonwood River. 15-year-old Ashley Edwards was with three of her friends headed back to Emporia when they lost control of their car. I just was changing the song, and then um, I look up, and then boom, a tree is right there. We lost control. We, we hit the tree and then I just remember flipping and my head hit and then I landed Ashley. in the water. Little did Edwards know she was the only one still conscious. We were all underwater and I felt all of them moving and I was just trying to figure out a way to breathe and stuff and then I felt a little air and then I got some air and then it just filled up real fast and then I stopped breathing. She pushed through with every bit of strength she had to find her way out and find help. I unbuckle my seatbelt and I'm trying to find a way out because I know like something broke in the car. I opened my eyes and I saw some light so I came up and then I came to uh, up here and then I heard a car go by and I was screaming help when I was coming up and then I got up and the car came back around and the car just kept driving. But she didn't lose hope. She kept walking until she came across someone who could help. Then the, the sheriff came and then picked me up and he said, what's going on? I said, there's three bodies over there and then the cars in the river. But she knew her friends weren't going to walk away with her. I just wanted to get them out of the river because I knew they weren't going to make it out alive. Ashley's mom, Tiffany, visited the scene Sunday with her daughter. She says she'll never forget the phone call. I was sitting around the backyard watching the kids jump on the trampoline. And I get a phone call, and I look at it, and I glance at it, and I don't want to answer it because I don't answer calls. I don't know, but something's telling me, like, answer it. During this time, you still hear sirens, commotions going around. I'm like, something's telling me, answer that phone. Responders told Tiffany they were taking Ashley to a nearby hospital and that she wanted to speak with her mom. Her daughter's words left her speechless. She gets on the phone. And she says, Mom, they're gone. And I'm, I'm freaking out. I don't know what happened. Her tears represented relief for her daughter being alive, but also sadness that she's the only survivor. Ashley's friends, 17-year-old Chase Luby, 13-year-old Paxton Luby, and 17-year-old Shelby Phoenix were killed. And... Chase is my best friend, and she's always been there every step of the way. If I need someone to call, she's always right there. Ashley's aunt says the town of Emporia has lost three beautiful souls. And to know that three people were killed, two of them being brother and sister, and their mom lost their kids hours before Mother's Day, like it just, it just touches me because, you know, like I said, it could have been anybody. And I just wanted them to be found because if I would have been dead, no one would have found us and there was just going to be a missing report. Raina Flores, 13 News. The cause of the crash is still under investigation and our hearts do go out to those who lost their lives. We were told that the teenagers in the crash went to Emporia Public Schools. The district told 13 News in a statement that they're aware that the Emporia Middle School and Emporia High School experienced the deaths of two current students and a former student over the weekend. The district went on to say that our sympathies go out to the families.